2 Multiplayer Shooter Games Hello everyone, my name is Ebolon and welcome to another video In today's video we are going to count down top 10 best multiplayer shooter games for competitive moments and thrills So, but just before we dive to the video, I really appreciate it if you click on the subscribe button and like the video So let's dive to the video Number 10, Escape from Tarkov. Despite an official release date still pending, Escape from Tarkov is already entering eSports with EFT Arena. Combining the brutally realistic and punishing gameplay that EFT has become known for its PvPvE combat in hidden arenas of Tarkov. The matches are organized by the secretive masters and led by the host. Escape from Tarkov Arena features 5 game modes and 7 challenging locations. Tactical gameplay and proper equipment will raise your chances of winning. You can play in any style including Assault, Sniper or Scout. What's interesting is that any skills, weapon mastery or levels that you achieve in an arena will update in the main game as well. So be sure to try it if the realistic and challenging gameplay of EFT has impressed you and you wanted to try the Escape from Tarkov competitively. Number 9. Rainbow Six Siege Rainbow Six Siege has made a significant name for itself in competitive scene. And why wouldn't it? It features team-based tactical gameplay set in cramped space for perfect planning and execution with new rounds. Players take turns attacking and defending a location and have a large roster of operators with different abilities and gadgets to choose from. Knowing the maps and agents tricks on said maps is crucial and Siege has a high skill ceiling, making it ideal for eSports. The Siege Invitational is the largest tournament, taking place annually with a prize pool of $3 million and over 300,000 viewers. Other official events include the Six Majors, Six Minors, and the Rainbow Six Siege Pro League. There are third-party events as well hosted by ESL and Blast. Siege fans are never left disappointed as they get to see what new and creative tactics their favorite teams employ. Number 8. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Call of Duty is one of the original eSport games and the developers are once again taking the eSport site seriously as they have set up the fully franchised Call of Duty League CDL where teams from all around the world will compete. It will be composed of a regular season and the playoffs, where the winner of the playoffs will be the champion. Common players will also have access to the league and can secure a spot on it. So if you want to step into an eSports ecosystem, then Modern Warfare 2 is a great game to get into. The, its eSports presence is still maturing, which will provide an effective chance to stand out in the league. As for the gameplay, COD doesn't really need introduction, it's a super fast paced shooter game with a very low time to kill. So your reflexes and aim will be of critical importance in COD. Number 7. Call of Duty Warzone 2 The relatively new descendant of the original Warzone, COD Warzone 2, amps up Battle Royale experience and adds new game modes as well. If you are into Battle Royale gameplay and you love a fast-paced style of Call of Duty, then Warzone 2 is an ideal game for you. The esports climate for Warzone 2 is relatively new right now and provides a perfect opportunity to get into the game. The big events include the Call of Duty League, uh, Vault Series, of Warzone, the One eSports, a new World Royale, and the EGL Clash of Clans War Championship. With prize pools in a millions, Activision has come up with an amazing competitive ground for one of the most popular game genres. Number 6 Overwatch 2. Let's be honest, Overwatch 2 didn't stand up on its predecessor completely when it comes to overall hype levels. Still, many would argue that the game is nothing short of amazing and is, competitively speaking, in the best state it has been in for years. While the Overwatch League isn't what it used to be, Overwatch 2 is definitely still one of the prime competitive games out there, allowing you to sweat it out no matter your strength. Contrary to its shooters, you don't need pixel performance. 
perfect aim in order to shine in OW2. If your strengths lie in your ability to outplay the opponents, you could play as the tank. And if you like supporting, you could do just with the healing character. This enticing mix of strategy and gameplay has convinced millions of players over the years to pick up the game. Now that it's free to play, it's a great time to get into competitive Overwatch world. If you play on being very serious, it's good to know that there is a path to pro system which enables players to compete in tournaments to be part of the Overwatch League. So each player has a chance to be an Overwatch pro and make it big if they have a skill. Number 5. PUBG Battlegrounds PUBG is one of the most popular battle royals in the world. No one can forget how it topped the Steam charts with the most active players when it launched. The player base experienced a huge hike with the launch of PUBG Mobile, bringing the highly successful battle royale to an even greater number of players. The PC and mobile versions have their own events, and the turnout is huge. Tournaments take place in more than 100 countries. The PUBG Global Championships is the most prestigious event if it's a prize pool of $2 million. Then there are regional events as well. PUBG is probably the most diverse eSports game as players from multiple countries compete in a tournament. If you like to try very competitive and brutally punishing but you know when you're rewarding battle royale game, PUBG is the place to be. Its realistic gameplay can lead to many frustrating moments but the feeling of relief when you get the first winner winner chicken dinner is worth all the blood, sweat and tears. Number 4 Fortnite. Standing shoulder to shoulder with PUBG, Fortnite was the next battle royale after PUBG to garner global fame and acclaim, and Fortnite even managed to surpass PUBG. The freedom to build and the go make Fortnite act really exciting to play, as it allowed players to outwit their opponents by building intricate structures in a matter of seconds, players who don't like the building aspect can also breathe a sign of relief, as a noble mod has been added some time ago and it's definitely here to stay. Fortnite eSports, the official competitive scene for the game, has two categories namely Fortnite Competitive and Fortnite Creative. The game has its own World Cup, called the Fortnite World Cup. It has a whopping $30 million prize pool. With numerous regional and unofficial events, the Fortnite eSports scene is thriving. And with its very active developers and frequent updates, the game will keep feeling fresh for a very long time. So it's worth investing your time in. Number 3. Apex Legends a game that needs no introduction. Apex Legends nominated the Battle Royale world and became the fastest growing Battle Royale and has over 100 million players now. Its unique spin on the Battle Royale genre with players having to choose from a varied roster of the different characters with their own abilities and skills. Skill manages to pull in hundreds of thousands of players every single day. If you like a character based game with a focus on movement and tracking style aiming, Apex Legends is the great game to pick up. Apex has a regional pro leagues culminating in the Apex Legends Global Series, the highest level of the game's eSports. Then there are master events, the winner of which compete in the champions, and this is the world championship for Apex Legends. The champions is the most prestigious annual events, having a massive prize pool and a very big following. Number 2, my love, Valorant. Valorant combined elements from some of the top competitive MP FPS games like CSGO and Overwatch and by giving it a touch of their own, Riot turned it into a hugely successful game on its own. The eSports community grew rapidly, new teams started forming and in no time Valorant was being played in front of gigantic audiences. The largest event is the Valorant Championship Tour VCT managed by Riot and it had 2.25 million prize pool in 2023. It is divided into three regions which have their own challenges league. The game is rapidly growing and the competitive scene is absolutely thriving. But how much can one man do? 
First one fouled, second one not there. It's over. Sent City here to play, here to stay. And history has been made. Just before we dive to the last, if you enjoyed the video, just like it and put your idea down in the comment. I'd really appreciate to read your comments. <laughs> and subscribe to the channel. My name is Abelana. I really thank you to, to reach this time of the video. <laughs> Let's dive to the last one. Number one, the one and only CS2. As a successor to CSGO, CS2 is not a separate new game, but rather a replacement. All the events, items, and teams will largely remain the same, adapting to the new game over time. The new iteration of Counter-Strike will also feature NVIDIA Reflex. That means now you can get that millisecond advantage that snipes the enemy before they hit you. The base gameplay largely remains the same as the maps will also be familiar to older players. The changes to the gameplay are mostly subtle, with a huge graphical overhaul being perhaps the most eye-catching difference. One major difference between CS2 and CSGO lies in the behavior of the smokes. The smoke system is completely new and the smokes now react dynamically to bullets or grenades allowing for much more tactical diversity. All in all, it is like the game we have grown to love. All your items, skin cases and progress will carry over to the new game. The ranking system has also been modified in favor of more traditional ELO system. Counter-Strike is without a doubt the game that many people think about when they hear the vault of competitive shooter game. And with this fresh new iteration, it will likely remain that way for many many years. 